I'm gonna pre-aim here. Got him. I heard his footsteps. Yeah, I think he just spawned there. Now I'm gonna move my way towards A. I gotta be careful because that's where they're spawning in from. Hold on, I don't want to stay here too long. He's right there. He's just chilling right there. Now I'm on a specialist bonus. So the first portion, I'm just going to lay out my top 10 tips on how to improve in Modern Warfare. And then for the second half of the video, I'm going to show you guys the live Twitch clip of me putting these tips into action so you guys can get a better visual. By the way, I've been streaming on Twitch a lot more lately. And if you want to go ahead and catch those, make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the real turbo man. My first tip is to have a plan. If you don't have a plan going into each map and you're just running around randomly hoping to get some kills, you're just going to die a lot and that's going to get frustrating and that's the main reason why a lot of people struggle with modern warfare love it or hate it modern warfare is a tactical call of duty it's not really your traditional arcade shooter they really wanted to be a lot more realistic so you have to actually implement strategy in order to do well so when i'm talking about having a plan for each map every single map over time you are going to get a feel for the enemy traffic where a lot of people go so once you have that down you're able to figure out which portions of the map are worth patrolling now when i say patrolling you're going to be stationed on one part of the map only. Now, for example, in the Twitch clip that I'm about to show you guys later on in the video, I am purposely patrolling the alleyway of Crash. Now, the reason why I do this is because you can't go down straight the middle, you know, where the helicopter is, because you're just going to get shot. There's way too many lines of sight, too many windows, and too many variables to just die from. So you want to minimize the variables of you dying. In order to do that, you find the parts of the map where you're less likely to die a lot, and that would be the alleyway. So all in all, on each map, you want to pick areas to patrol that have high enemy traffic, as well as less ways of dying all right so these next three are going to be related to each other but the second tip that i have is to use your teammates positioning on the mini map to predict where the enemies will be so this one is pretty much a tip that i use in almost every call of duty but it's never been more important in modern warfare because the mini map does not show enemy fire when they're shooting on the map so this will create a lot of questions and assumptions and it will create a lot of hardships for decision making of where to move around the map because you just don't know where the enemies are you could still see your teammates with the triangles now if my teammates are on one part of the map and there's a lot of gunfire going on there uh, then i can assume that the enemy is literally right across from my teammates engaging in gunfire now here's the other part where you have to utilize the mini map to your advantage is that if there's no activity going on where your teammates are and you're on the opposite side of the map you can guarantee that you are more likely to come across enemies that are heading towards your way you got to put two and two together you got to put a lot of logic and reasoning behind every single thing in the game because that's just how modern warfare is that's how i'm able to predict exactly where the enemy is coming from and that's something that you should practice as well you can go into a private match play some team deathmatch and put some bots on your team and then go against some enemy bots and then practice using that mini map look at where your teammates are on the mini map position yourself away from your team so that you can see and decide where the enemy will actually be coming from because once you know that's when you can plan your attack of how you want to move around the map and whether it's safe or not to move across the map my third tip is kind of a weird one because it involves using your teammates as bait if you use your teammates as bait number one not not only does that help you stay alive a lot longer and number two it actually also exposes the enemy position let's say that you're in the alleyway right and your teammate is there in front of you and you know for a fact that there's enemies there if he goes first and he dies in front of you that's an indication that hey you know what maybe going that way is not a good idea after all it's basically a choke point and you're just gonna get killed instantly that's one way that you can use your teammates as bait or if your teammate does engage in a gunfight and he still happens to die which is most likely the case when you're using this tip the enemy gunfire will still show on that compass right above on your screen and if that red dot is really close it means that the enemy is nearby so after your teammate has died that's when you go in for the kill so this fourth tip is also using your teammates to your advantage and that is from their positioning literally in front of you not on the mini map another good example would be let's say you're patrolling one side of the map right you know you're just going back and forth you're checking every lines aside and 
you happen to have some teammates with you that is moving in the same lane. Now, the smart thing to do would be to fill in the lane next to him so that there's more ground covered and also minimizes the chances of you being flanked. Filling in these lanes correctly will not only both cover more ground and lines of sight but it will also clog those open lanes that enemies can have access to in order to flank you so if you're filling in those lanes correctly you're most likely going to get some enemies coming towards you but that's a lot better than being surprised and flanked by them because you just didn't cover and fill your lanes correctly so the more eyes you have on certain lines of sight the better that's why you got to use your teammates positioning in front of you as a cue for how to position yourself correctly on the map as well. So my fifth tip would be to use the cinematic elements in the game to your advantage. And you're also gonna see an example of me using this in the game. So basically in the live stream, I did see an enemy shadow right above me as I was looking out the window from underneath the guy. So I just went up the stairs and killed the enemy really quickly and easy, even though I didn't hear his footsteps, I didn't hear his battle chatter. And other things that you need to look out for are battle chatter, enemy footsteps, enemy reloading, loading or enemy callouts and your own team's callouts as well you ever play and notice sometimes that you know you hear enemy in the burger town house you know you have to use those cues to your advantage and that will cue you to be a lot more alert and more attentive in the situation you're in that way you're ready for the next gunfight when it does happen you know those things are in the game for a reason so you really have to pay attention and be mindful so my sixth tip is to be unpredictable when you're patrolling around the map or you're just getting kills in general you generally don't want to stay in the same spot just because you have a lot of enemies coming at you and they just keep getting killed by you doesn't mean that it's gonna be that way for the entire game now for me i made that big mistake as well because mainly i was live streaming and i wanted to be entertaining uh, but at the same time if i was just playing on my own and i really wanted to get a nuke which i almost did in the stream i would definitely play it a little bit more safe be more passive aggressive and just not try to go for those kills but when you're getting a kill it's always important to move your position chances are the enemy is going to try and relentlessly kill you because that's how people are. When you get killed in the game, you want to get your revenge kill and you want to go after the guy that just killed you. That's why you got to keep moving around to different locations in order to keep the enemies guessing. You know, being stealth is key and I'm a stealthy player. I love surprising the enemy and outplaying them. And that is the way that I get that done is just by uh, being smart about every decision that I make and just moving, getting a kill, moving and getting a kill. It's always important to check your back as well there's a lot of lines of sight in almost every map in this game you always want to check your surroundings look left look right look behind you you know do these things really quickly tip number seven is to be as stealthy as possible through sticking to the outskirts of the map now this is another classic call of duty tip right here that you can apply to any call of duty but again in modern warfare it's really important because of the map design the map layout and a lot of unpredictability so that's why when you stick to the outskirts of the map it minimizes the chances of you dying to somebody who is just sitting in a window but if you're sticking to the outskirts of the map you really shrink that possibility of you dying all you have to worry about is really what's in front of you and what's to the side of you because behind you is the outskirt of the map that's why you're kind of using that to your advantage to move around the map safely because you know that's one less area that you have to check tip number eight is going to be do not get greedy with your kills you know let's say you get hit markers on somebody right and you know for sure that you could kill that guy if he peeks his head out one more time you're gonna get that kill in some instances you just get hit markers and you never see the guy again the reason why is because he's probably going around trying to flank you because he's a smart call of duty player now if you're just standing there still like waiting for him you're aiming down your sights the higher the chances are that you're gonna get flanked and you're gonna die unexpectedly because you've waited there for too long for tip number nine this one's a bit of an underrated one because i don't really see people doing this too much smart call of duty players will use their equipment to their advantage and use it at the right times i always say this in my streams if the bullets don't kill them the c4 will so use the c4 you know use whatever lethal you like but for me i personally like the c4 because i have literally control of how and when i want to detonate it so that's very powerful so for example later on in the video you're gonna see some guy uh below me that i get hit 
markers on. It doesn't quite kill him, but since I acted fast enough, in that split second, I thought, hey, I have a C4. Let me just toss it through that doorway and detonate it as soon as possible because I know for sure that guy is still there. He's probably healing himself. And if I throw that C4 fast enough, I'm going to get the kill. That's just an example of using your equipment to your advantage. For my last tip, this is another underrated tip, but it's something that smart Call of Duty players will utilize. And this one is to be patient. Now, it's a lot more complex than that when the enemy team calls in some kill streaks and I'm on a streak myself and I don't want to die I'm busy patrolling this area but I can't really hear anything I can't use the game's elements to my advantage so the best thing to do in that situation is to just remain calm and sit and wait until the kill streaks go away that's when you can continue the streak it's better safe than sorry and you'll stay alive a lot longer the last thing you want to do while you're on a streak is go out there and risk it all and just continue your strategy because you're gonna die to the kill streaks number one and number two you can't hear where the enemies are coming from your hearing is taken away or the VTOL is in the air it's extremely hard to hear and another example of being patient is let's say you're deep in the enemy spawn and you see a bunch of them coming towards you they don't know that you're there but you you know that they are there the average person is probably going to be very excited about this because you're going to get a lot of multi kills but the last thing you want to do while you're on a streak is try to challenge a whole enemy team and try to get all those kills you know that goes hand in hand with being greedy you know the best thing to do in that situation is just to sit back wait until a few of the enemies have passed by far enough so that when you do start engaging you're able to take out their teammates as they're already halfway across the map you know that's just the safe and better way to do it if you want to stay alive on your streak it's just not possible to challenge and kill all six enemies at the same time but anyways guys that's all the tips that i have i'm gonna switch over to the twitch live stream right now if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe definitely drop a like if you find this video helpful and i will see you guys in the next one peace you get destroyed on this map all the time well let me show you what i do personally hopefully i don't choke because now you're expecting. Okay, I know there's someone in the alleyway. I saw somebody chuck something over. Someone's right above me. Got him. I saw his shadow. That's how I knew. Someone's right below me. Let me toss a C4 real quick. Got him. Dude, that was a double. I'll take it. Let me move to the alley now. I'm going to pre-aim here. Got him. I heard his footsteps. Yeah, I think he just spawned there. Now I'm going to move my way towards A. I got to be careful because that's where they're spawning in from. Hold on. I don't want to stay here too long. He's right there. He's just chilling right there. Now I'm on a specialist bonus. So I'm pretty much just patrolling this area. I mean, it really wouldn't make sense to just run around the map like an idiot because of all the lines of sights and all that stuff. You don't want to die to anything stupid. So right now I'm basically controlling my destiny by picking and choosing my positioning and stuff like that. We lost C, so I'm going to direct my attention to this area here, but they could be spawning at A, so we gotta be weary of that as well. Pre-aiming, okay. UAV's telling me that there's, yep, he's right there on top of the uh, the roof. I'm actually gonna get out of that situation. Now I'm gonna rotate. Teammate just died right there. Let me take a peek over here. See what I can get. I'm waiting, right behind me. Always check your back. Yo, I'm on that 12 right now. Okay, he's hurt. He's hurt right now. Let me help out teammate. He's, he's really in a bad spot right now. Yo, teammate, move. C4? Yes, sir. Not going to push. I'm not going to push their spawn. Teammate just died. Hold on. They got an enemy position. Close that door. Teammate just died around me. Hold up. Let's wait. Let's be patient. The reason why I camp when I hear airstrikes is because I can't hear anything. Okay, I'm on a 14 right now. This is crazy. Let's see if I can get a... 
Yup, he's still sniping over there at that tower. Trying to avoid that as much as possible. Look at that. Just let him come to me. It's easy money. Got him. 16. Seventeen. No! <laughs> I got a little greedy right there. That's what happened. Oh, man.